today. In this particular video we're being asked to simplify fully this particular algebraic expression and it's a bit like the same with any adding of fractions. If I, for instance, I'm going to say well I want to add one third plus one fourth then all I would do is I would make sure that both the denominators are the same, in this case 12, and then I would multiply across. So I've got one times four and one times three and then I would work that out and add the two together. And the way that I've done that is I've said, what have I got to multiply that three by to get to 12? Well, it must be four times, so I multiply the numerator by four. That's the same principle I'm going to use with this algebraic expression. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to make both denominators to be 12. And then if I look at the first fraction, what have I multiplied the 4 by to get to 12? Well, that's going to be 3. So I need to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. It's the same with the other fraction where I've got what have I multiplied 3 by to get to 12? Well, that's going to be 4. So I'm going to write that as 4 and then x minus 5. And then really it's a case of simplifying everything up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put both fractions together under 12 in the same way that I would do with that particular one. And then I'm going to work out each of the different numerator, uh, denominators. So 1 times 4 is 4 and 1 times 3 is 3, so 4 plus 3 is going to be 7 over 12. I'm going to follow exactly the same principle with my algebraic fraction. But in this particular case, I've got two terms I need to multiply through. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times plus 3 is going to be plus 9. Now with these types of questions, do be very careful about negative numbers. They do crop up, and there are a few examples coming up in the rest of this play playlist. So the next bit is 4 times x is, now remember it's plus 4 times x is plus 4x, and then plus 4 times minus 5, well that's going to be minus 20. Okay. So then I can gather up the like terms and put everything together. And I've got 3x and 4x there, so I'm going to write that as 7x. And then I've got plus 9 minus 20, so that's going to be minus 11, and that's all over 12. And that will answer this particular question. I hope that's been helpful for you. Please do add a comment in the comments if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.